What is up guys, I'm Moana Turtle, so today we have a Magic the Gathering opening. It's been a while since we've done one of these. We are opening up the newest set in Modern. This is Modern Horizons. Really excited about this, it's very unique. Uh, something new that Wizards of the Coast is trying to do, where this set kind of goes straight into just the Modern set, basically skips uh, Standard entirely. So it's not like the master sets, it's very different, or a little bit different I guess. And interesting box art, and it does come with 36 pack versus like the uh, master sets which came with 24. So we'll, uh, we'll see how, how this video goes. I'm thinking we might just open half the box given how big the box is. Let's take a look at the pack. I think there might be a pull tab. Alright, whatever, let's just open it the old fashioned way. So this set, uh, actually yeah, Dawn Glare has this thing at I think an EV of like $240, which I kind of doubt, but um, it does seem like it's still pretty high, considering that you can get this, uh, I think they start around 200 but you can find them, actually I'll put a link in the description for, so Drop has them, so uh, token, Drop has it for 182 actually, so I'll put a link in the description if you do want to get a box of your own, each one, each pack does come with a snow covered land, full art land, which is really nice. And then, so our first rare is Pash, Pashalic Mons. There's a goblin card. Talisman Curiosity, Good Fortune Unicorn, and then Web Breathing Changeling. So we'll probably do, uh, then we'll kind of just go through the commons and commons really quickly. Uh, and we'll probably skip that after a while. And see what we can pull. The, some of the big hits are like the Urza, the Artificer and uh, Force of Negation, they do have the forces, they all have the cycle lands. So they do have foil tokens, so the card is either a double-sided token or a foil. And then each pack does come with these kind of like art cards. And it looks like there's, it's kind of an interesting gloss, and then 54 of them. So I imagine it won't take too long to collect them all. And this is a snow-covered swamp. And then we have, ooh, Force of Despair. Okay, if not your turn, you may exile another black card, destroy all. I feel like this card is pretty interesting. You can do it at the end of your opponent's turn. Uh, so you do lose two cards, but I mean, I guess if you're facing like an aggro deck, you can just wipe out all of this, the creatures that he just summoned. It's pretty nice. Then we have Cunning Evasion. I don't really know much about the uncommons, what, what we're looking for. And then most likely the commons, there's not much to really be had there. But definitely want some of the uh, the land cycle. That'll be nice. I think the fiery islet is the best one. So as always, if you do enjoy this video and uh, like to see Magic Gathering, let me know by hitting that like button down below. And we'll see if we can't do more. Here's an interesting art card. It is from Everdream. And here we have our first snow-covered forest. So we haven't pulled a, uh, let's figure out my piles real quick. And here is our rare, Unsettled Mariner, Changeling. Uh, whenever you get a permanent you control, becomes target spell creature. Hmm, that's interesting, not bad. Yeah, so I'll put a couple links down below if you do want to pick up your own pack for a pretty good price and actually yeah the price went down quite a bit compared to when it was first announced uh, I think some bunch of my boxes are like 200 so prices have gone down uh, and I wonder if prices will kind of rebound uh, so if you are interested in getting it, it might be a good idea to get it sooner rather than later uh, I wonder if the prices will settle around that 200 mark but uh, as far as like singles, I would definitely expect the singles to uh, continue to go down, kind of like a race to the bottom kind of thing. But uh, yeah, this is cool to get into this new set. I have a new bear card. I feel like people are unsure how this set will do. There's a lot, a lot of uncertainty. Like they're not sure if it'll be good, if it'll be bad. So we did get a foil bear. And interesting art right there. Another snow covered forest. We haven't got any foils yet. Ooh, okay. Our first mythic in is Ren and Six. Very interesting looking planeswalker. Uh, return up to one target card from your graveyard to your hand. Only for two mana. 
Actually, that's quite interesting. Return up to one. Oh, land target. Up to one target land card from your graveyard to your hand. And then deals one damage to any target. Seven instant sorcery spells of graveyard have retrace. I don't even know what retrace is off the top of my head. But there's our first mythic. Nice. And then smitting helix. Talisman of creativity and fact or fiction. That's a reprint. So if you happen to come across this video because of uh, because of Modern Horizons, and uh, I definitely encourage you to hit uh, subscribe. And primarily, we do a lot of Pokemon content on this channel. However, we do branch off into other games like Yu-Gi-Oh, um, obviously Magic the Gathering, and uh, Collective Conjuring. Don't think that card's very good. As well as uh, we try to open up some different sets, different card card games that we've that we're not necessarily familiar with. All right, so far we did get one foil. I feel like uh, people have been opening a lot of foils. Sometimes I see like five, six foils in a single box. Merit Lodge, such a cool card. I don't think uh, the Deep Depths is in this. Dark Depths. But I love that that deck and um, some of the... Ooh, here's our first foil. It's just a common. My piles are all messed up. Nether Spirit. Uh, this is something you can just toss in the graveyard. It's only a creature card. You play it on the field. Saddled Rhinestag, Crypt Rats, and Or Scale Guardian. Okay, let's see. We have a Soldier Token. Back is a Squirrel. Ooh, that's a cool one right there. Snow covered mountain and ooh, give her ruins. The new weakened mother ruins. Well, it has plus, plus one power and plus one toughness. It can't give protection to herself, which makes her significantly weaker. Ice hide golem. Ooh, look at that. What is this? Can be paid with one mana from a snow permanent. 2 2. Interesting. Twisted reflection. And I guess we'll look through some of these commons. Don't think there's much to be had in them. All right, so far we only got one mythic. Hoping for a couple more. Actually, where's those land cycles? All right, so we have a goblin token. Not sure who you are, but you look pretty cool. Guessing that's some kind of minotaur, spineborn minotaur. I do like this uh, snow-covered island. It's pretty cool. And then, ooh, prismatic vista. So this is like a. Um, uh, the, the land that oh my gosh I'm, the fetch land only if only fetches basics but it can be any basic so it's almost like a evolving wild that you lose one health and it's and because you lose one health it actually doesn't become doesn't come into play tapped so I'm not sure how how useful that card will be because like most decks do want to run like the dual lands uh, but I could see that being useful as it just kind of helps thin out the deck and as long as you do have basics It should be okay. Here is a uncommon foil in smiting helix And then dead of winter I feel like uh, people aren't too crazy about this card But I feel like it has a lot of potential if you do run all like snow-covered lands and stuff like that That's like a guaranteed board wipe And they do have a lot of ninja cards well, I'm not too familiar with how the ninjutsu works. All right, so yeah, if you let me know what your com in the comment down below what your own thoughts about this set are and how your own polls have been going. And if you happen to find this channel, oh, here we go. Here's our first. I don't know what to call this. Just the I'll just call it the land cycle. So it can you can just kind of like cycle it for to draw a card whenever you need to. Generous gift, pack, and then exclude. Yeah, if you happen to find this channel, um, definitely hit that sub button. We do do Pokemon videos, basically, essentially every single day. And we'll have various other videos as well for various TCGs. This looks like some kind of Savannah Lion. Ooh, still like that art. Cabal Therapist. Hoping to get a foil land and, um, yeah, some kind of... It would be cool to get the foil land cycle too. 
Alright, we only have a handful of packs on this left side, and seeing how we're already 10 minutes into this video, uh, we'll probably split it up into two different two different parts. Okay, we have Elemental Token. So only so we have one Mythic and then one Land Cycle still, so only that. That's all we have so far. A Foil Common, and then On Thin Ice. Chant Snow Land, and you can hide a creature in there, but once they get rid of the enchantment, the creature comes back. So as a result, I don't think that card's very good. Modern is an interesting thing. I'm starting to get into watching more modern tournaments, and the the play is much faster than I would have expected. All those um, Arc Light Phoenix decks. Is it Phoenix decks? They're just so fast. Okay, here's our next Mythic Hex Drinker. That's not a very good one. It's kind of cool they're bringing back this level up thing. But so for only one, starts off as 2 1, and then you can level up protection from instants. But if it does become 4 4, and then protection from everything, so a mini progenitus for an extra 8 mana. Eh, I don't think that's very good, but it's kind of cool. I like how they bring it back. The Some of the cards that I do like is the. Ice Fang Quaddle. It's kind of like uh, Baleful Strix. Only it's it has um, Flash, which is nice, and it's Death Touch. You need a certain number of Ice Permanents. But I really like that card. I feel like it has a lot of potential. Assuming that Snow Covered is a oh wow Foil Mythic, awesome. I feel like people say you get like one of these per case or something. And so we got Yagma Thran Physician, not the craziest Mythic. Uh, but any foil mythic, that's amazing. Protection from human, so two four for four. Protection from human, pay one life, sacrifice another creature, put a one one minus one minus one token, and a creature, and then draw a card, and then discard a card for two and proliferate. Wow, that's really cool. And then we also got a Mist Syndicate Naga, another Shinobi card, Tranquil Thicket. Yeah, so they do also have um, cycling lands. They got the I don't know the horizon. I'm just gonna call it the. I just feel like some people are calling them the Horizon Lands. Cut like they took that. I think it was called Horizon Canopy, and they turned it into all the different uh, colors. So we have a Foil Goblin. I think this is the Mox Tantalite or something like that. Yeah, Snow Covered Forest. Man, so we did get a Foil Mythic. That is awesome. And then a Scrapyard Recombinator. Even though we still have another half, I was hoping to find more of the land cycle. We did get two mythics. Wouldn't mind that Urza. Oh, the foil Urza. That's the. I think um, Open Booster's open one. And then when he did the TCG player app, it was like two hundred dollar card. I think after we finish, after we finish this um the entire box, we'll do the TCG play. Wow, Force of Negation. There we. Go. Wow, this box is insane. All right, Force of Negation. Um, counter target non-creature spell. If that spell is counted this way, exile instead of putting it into your owner's, to your owner's graveyard. Uh, so it's kind of like a weakened version of Force of Will, because it's, it's only for non-creature stuff. Uh, and but and you kind of have to pay the mana cost if it's your turn. It's still a very good card. Oh, slivers are back. There is the the first. The first sliver seems to be a pretty good mythic to get, although the Urza does seem to be the biggest one because it combos with that sort of meek or something like that. All right, for our last pack of this video, just because I don't want this to take too long, ooh, a cool sliver right there. Slivers are interesting. Snow covered plains, and we got a bear, a bear enchantment. Discard land card, create a 2 2 bear. Oh, look at this art. This art is really cool. It almost looks like some kind of like a drowsy thing or something. Soul Herder. Dismantling Blow and Birthing Bows. And a handful of commons. But a very, very good opening to start off Modern Horizons for us. Just to go through some of our big cards, we did get a Force of Negation and boom! Foil Mythic. Yagma Thran Physician. On that, we did get one other, two other mythics. So three mythics for half a box, not bad. Hex Drinker and Ren. 
And then we only got one of the land cycle. So hopefully get at least, at least two more in the other half of the box. Um, which we'll do very soon. So definitely check, look, keep an eye out for that. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Definitely hit that like button down below. Especially if you do enjoy this comment. Let me know your thoughts down below in a comment. As far as what your thoughts on this set are. And uh, if you happen to find this channel, definitely hit that sub button as well. Especially if you are into Pokemon. We do Pokemon videos essentially every single day. And um, yeah, that's it for now. And we'll be back with the rest of this box. I'm Juan Turtle. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.